Hey you guys and welcome back to Be More Light. I'm back with another word you guys. Um, this word the Lord has been bringing me back here for the last couple of days and I'm going to read a passage of scripture from Exodus um, and he's just been having me to come back here and so I do want to pray really quickly and get right into this word. So Father God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you speak through my lips like clay, that I'm relying completely on you, Father God, and your wisdom. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that this word is a confirmation and a blessing to so many that are listening and watching. And I pray, Father God, that you just come in right now and that you continue to speak to our hearts, our spirits, Father God, and that you align us to your will and continue to lead us, Father God. Um, lead us into all that you've called for us to do uh, and bless us anoint us in our gifts father god that we will continue to serve you in the kingdom in jesus name we pray amen so i want to go ahead and read exodus so uh, just like uh, let's back up a little bit so in exodus what i'm reading is moses how the lord spoke to moses to um to go back to the Israelites so that they could be set free. And so that's pretty much like the whole notion of this video or this word, should I say. But I am going to read Exodus chapter 4 and I do want to start at 10. So it says, Moses said to the Lord, pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. But Moses said, pardon your servant, Lord. Please send someone else. So I'm going to stop there because it's just really the Lord, you know, burning it uh, in anger against Moses. And so just kind of going back to what I read and the way God was showing this to me is how God anoints and appoints his children. And the thing is, is that when God's calling you to step out in faith, to, you know, continue to walk in the calling, the will that he has over your life, God's going to anoint you for the task, for the assignment, for the mission. And the thing is, is that God will never send you somewhere that you're not ready for. He won't, God doesn't work in a way where he sends you somewhere and there's confusion he's the prince of peace and so one thing that he was showing me while i was literally reading this passage of scripture how many of us how many of us sit here and say lord like i'm not good enough for this or i could never i could never do this i could never um teach or encourage or make that youtube video or make music or write a book i i'm not good for this job. I'm not good for the position. Lord, pick somebody else. How many times do we get into a position where we literally put aside the calling that God has for our life, or maybe we're so unaware of it because we're so focused on our own plans, our own purpose, you know, and, and I say our own, it really isn't. It's just our flesh, our carnal man, our carnal mindset, our carnal, carnal thinking, um, just being in the flesh. And so oftentimes, you know, we don't think we're worthy enough. We don't think we're good enough for the assignment. So we start asking questions. We start, you know, giving God excuses. We start kind of doubting. And the thing is, is that when our eyes, when our heart is postured in Jesus, when our eyes are focused on the Lord, God tells us we don't lack a single thing. Why is that? We don't lack anything because God is with us. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. God says, I will uphold you with his righteous hand. Amen. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but just know wherever the Lord is taking you, whatever the Lord is preparing you for and pruning you for, you're walking through the fire to be pruned and refined. Continue to let the Lord come through in your life. I want to go back to Moses being a Debbie Downer on himself saying, Lord, I am slow of speech. I, he had a speech impediment problem. He, he stuttered. So he said, how can you use someone like me? I'm not fit for this job. How many of us, how many times have we said, Lord, I don't think I could do this. I don't know if I could wait. I don't know if I can, if I could truly fit into these shoes. 
But God says, listen, it is not I, the Lord, that has created you to be the way that you are, who you are, who you're called to be. He says, now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. He will give you the words to speak in the moment. He will tell you where to go. He will continue to anoint you and bless you and favor you because you are a child of God. Amen. Um, let me see if I can find the passage of scripture that I was finishing up in this chapter. Um, okay, so we're going to go to Exodus chapter 4. And I'm going to go ahead and skip down to, I want to say it's 21. Hold on one second. Okay, no, 29. It's the very ending of it. Moses and Aaron brought together all the elders of the Israelites. So Aaron was also sent with Moses to help him. Moses and Aaron brought together all the elders of the Israelites. And Aaron told them everything the Lord has said to Moses. He also performed the signs before the people and they believed. And when they heard that the Lord was concerned about them and had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshiped God because God is not a man that he shall lie. God's not going to send you somewhere and absolutely just leave you to yourself and says, hey, figure this out. You're over here now. Figure it out. If anything, God is working. God is moving. This word is so good, you guys. He says he also performed the signs before the people that they believe. So not only does God anoint you for the task, the assignment, the mission, the purpose, the will he has for your life, but he says many are going to know and come to know God's name through you because you are a vessel that's being used in the kingdom of God. Amen. He says he, says he performed the signs. See, that's the thing with our gifts. We are anointed. God has given us gifts. We are anointed in the kingdom of God. And where God is sending you is because what you've been prepared and pruned and um, waiting on, God is getting ready to raise you up to be used. And in the process, you are being used. You are being blessed. Amen. So I really pray that this word encouraged somebody today. This word is so good, you guys. And I pray that this word just bless y'all. And um. I'll be back here very soon, and I love you guys. I'm praying for these, for YouTube, for, you know, those that are coming on here, for those joining the fellowship group. We are coming together in fellowship, so I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon.